Hi guys, welcome back to my Clones Play series for Seven Days to Die. This is Alpha 15.1, Episode 20, and as always, I'm joined by my clone and twin sister, Sins Eternal. Hey everyone! So, our goal today is going to be wood and stone. We also hope to get a little bit of looting in, because we almost have enough mechanical parts to get a workbench set up. So, we and are going to be... Go Yes, I need food, so we're going to go and head back towards the house, and then we're going to go after two of the elaborate pool houses and see about getting a few mechanical parts and some looting in, since it's been a little bit since we last did some looting. Yes, I this is the right ready. one. So figure since it's they're right near the house we'll just go ahead and hit the house first and then see about getting me some food I had to eat an emergency blueberry yeah <laughs> yeah you're not doing so well on your hunger I don't know why your character eats like five times what mine does I swear I know right And at some point, we should get around to trying to loot the Day's End suites, because I haven't actually looted one of the hotels yet. Got lots of friends waking up. Yeah, honestly, at this point, I think we should just start killing some of them. Well, I don't have a lot of arrows, but probably could as I get a huge leg spike. some arrows made. Mm 
Oh, apparently I was out of low on feathers, too. Alright, let's deal with yeah, that. Because, so yeah, the horde is tomorrow, so we definitely don't want to be short on arrows. Oh, and if you get a second while you're inside, um, how do the and crops I look? It was bound to happen to one of us eventually. <laughs> and for the record, she is still taking trap damage nearly three weeks in. And not dead yet. <laughs> yep, I am immortal. Oh, and uh, just because oh, you mentioned platforms around the can, trees. Hmm? What's that? Um, one thing that we need to do is get uh, this base set up for tomorrow as well. Yeah, and the fun of not knowing what we're going to be up against. So... Well, we're probably going to have some pops in there. Yeah, I'm thinking um, try to keep as much of the wood from these trees as possible and maybe set up a outer perimeter of... Um, the uh, expensive wood spikes and then around that maybe some barbed wire if that makes yep. sense sounds like a plan you know try to keep them out a little further yeah this, this base if they get underneath us we're not going to survive long they are going to rip our base a new one well if there's cops our base is going to get ripped a new one anyway. Only if the cops see us. Because they will puke where we are. Yeah. So what that means is we are outside. The second one of us sees a cop, you call it and we get our asses inside. If we're not in direct line of sight, they don't puke. Okay. start on some spike. Spiky spike spike. Yep, I'm gonna start on the expensive ones. Yep, I'm gonna get 25. Actually, I'll handle that barbed wire fences to start with. So I'm gonna craft up a hundred of those, which should hopefully be enough to cover the perimeter. Hopefully be enough. <laughs> We'll see. And don't forget, we can, if you, if you craft up a hundred and I craft up a hundred, if we have to have a few extras outside of the row by themselves, then that's fine. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, I've managed to pick up a couple of feathers, but not a lot. So let's go off on a hunt for feathers yeah, while there's me. still some daylight. Now oh, there's an iron reinforced club in this backpack if you want it. Um, I've got a 130 quality one if you want to take it. I don't have the burner, remember? Right. That, and I like my hammer. Hammer is way better. Hammer is God? Here's some trees. Maybe we can get lucky. God damn it. We lined up a headshot and then he decided to hump the cactus. <laughs> there have got to be some bird's nests around here because, yeah. We can't just rely on. Ooh, backpack. Like, when we don't need feathers, we seem to be capable of finding, you know, every bird's nest and its brother. Well, I mean, look at our other world. Oh, I'm finding some when I go down the hill a little bit here. Yeah, we have a solo world that we like to play on when we just want to relax and unwind. Not worry about what we have to say that might end up on the internet. Yeah. Come on, seriously. There has got to be some birds. Yeah, I mean nests. seriously, I have more of those moments than you do. Oh, hello friend. Okay, fine. Okay, what is with these nurses and carrying cash? I swear to god when the zombie apocalypse happened, they just start taking every bribe that was thrown at them. I know, right? Seriously, the one there, and I don't have the room for it, but I mean, she had $27 on her. $27, wow. I mean, that's wow. the most that I've ever seen on a nurse. Yeah. Yeah, I think I've seen like $25, $26. It's like, really? Come on. Oh, well, maybe some had, uh... Hello, cactus at the top of the hill. <laughs> you know, maybe some had, a uh, higher, uh, confidence in themselves to be able to take money from suckers. You want to go and see your kid who's foaming at the mouth and trying to chew everything up that's human? Sure, go ahead. Five bucks. Entertainment and money. Step one, zombie apocalypse. Step two, nurses. Step three, profit. <laughs> no, no, it's step three, question mark. Step four, profit. Ah, yes. You can't, you can't on, give a seriously. secret. Alright, come on. There's... Where... The plains used to be, like, completely littered with bird's nests. When I started playing in 14, uh, in Alpha 14, it was, like, the place to go for bird's nests. I know, that in the desert. The desert yeah. Was, it was the best. And the desert's actually even better well, because no count, no grass. Unless you count the snow because you can see them so easy. I mean, the snow biome, it doesn't matter where a bird's nest is, it stands out against the ground. So, I mean, technically that's the easiest place to locate them. But... Well, yeah, you know, no... Oop, there's one. I think I've found, like, maybe three or four nests now. Oh, I have a crawling woman here. Marlene, I think, is her name. And nothing good on her. Figures. We gotta head back to one of the bases, though. Yeah. Probably our current main instead of the new one. But I am going to try and be out looking as long as humanly possible. Because I don't want to get stuck oh, yeah, doing this so I'm tomorrow. Just moving my way in the, the back. I'm just moving myself back in the general direction. Yep. I'm 
No, Twitcher, I don't want to play with you today. I have more important things to be doing. Running around like a madwoman looking for bird nests. Oh god, that's you. I heard you start running and I was like, oh my god, what time is it? Seresis. <laughs> well, I didn't pay attention to which direction you went in. Okay, just get a couple more of these cinder blocks. Shotgun Messiah might be stocked again. But we probably should wait till after the horde. Okay, so what I am thinking is doing a layer of the barbed wire, expensive spikes, and then maybe some more barbed wire. I think normal spikes and then barbed wire. The barbed wire has relatively low hit points. We also have to get in and do repairs. Oh, crap. Alright, so join us in the next episode for some more prep work as we face our Day 21 horde. So remember to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed today's content. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Bye for now.